Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I love to report scammers' phone numbers to the phone carriers for fraud. Many carriers are great, and they investigate and disconnect phone numbers right away. When scammers use toll-free numbers, they pay per minute for each call, and scammers don't usually get the cheapest rates. Now, imagine if that scammer were to get many, many calls, say at night while they are sleeping, for instance. Listen as a Jamaican lottery scammer explains to me the trouble he is having with his phones. This is one of my favorite phone calls of all time. Enjoy. Like within two days. You know what happened to our phone you line get, yesterday? You're getting what? The phone, com- the phone company what? called me. The, the phone company told me this morning that our, our phone bill came up to 5000 U.S. dollars. Now, have your phone bill ever come up to so much amount? No, but I don't understand. Uh, I mean, you're a business. Well, it's, it, it is a business, but if we get, get calls that we're not supposed to be getting and they keep calling, they run the bill up. So that, that's what they're doing. They're getting our bill way up, and we believe that these people who are doing this, they're hackers and they're scammers, all right? So all I can well, say why don't to you, you just Matt, hang up on them when I get prank calls or, or when, uh, when solicitation I get, calls? I get, I get calls for call war, car warranty all the time. I just hang up on them. I don't you, change you know my what phone I do number. When I get the call? You know what I do when I get the call? What? I block the number. I yeah. block the number. And each time I block the number, they call on another number. Imagine getting 10 calls. In less than a minute. Just oh. imagine this. Oh, all right. We're going through a lot. It's just because you're not on our end to understand. But I'm using a better method. I'm thinking of corresponding with you on your email. So I can text you on your email and you can reply back to me on the email. Okay. All right. Is that is that con- isn't that more convenient for you? Well, it's all right. Sure, that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, I want to know I if you're comfortable. I still don't understand want- the changing the phone numbers. It just doesn't seem like a regular business thing to do. Well, I mean, you well, give listen, me a phone number, listen. and then the next day I go to call you back, and it says not in service. Okay. Well, the other number is in service. The other number is in service, but the, the number that they are calling us on, like, right through, we totally had to change that number. We had to change that number completely. Oh. Between, yesterday, between yesterday to today, the bill that came was for $5,000. It's not like a month. It's in within two days. So these people, they know what they're doing, and I don't want to know that we're responsible for a bill for $200,000 because they took two days to have the bill to be at $5,000. So imagine if we give them a month, how much would it be? Oh, my goodness. That is a lot of money. So, okay. So you understand why we had to change the number now. All right. Now, yes. all I can say to you, I need a chance to prove myself to you that I'm a man of my word. All right, mm-hmm. that's all I'm asking, just for a chance. To... All right. The scam baiting community is full of people who have many different talents, much more than you hear on YouTube. This call is a perfect example of people working together to achieve a really great outcome. To hear a scammer cry about it is just icing on the cake. Hope you loved it. See you next time.